Hello, everyone, yes. and welcome to One Sports TV. We are playing last 32 round of Predator One Pool 10 by 4 event. And let me introduce players for you first. Today we have Maximilian Lechner from Austria, Stefana Delina from Italy, Jalal Alsarisi from Venezuela, and Oliver Villafuerte from Philippines. And I have a pleasure sharing commentary booths with the one and only dancing Venezuelan bear, Luis Gabriel Arias. Hola, Luis. <laughs> <laughs> I love my nickname. How are you, Margaret? Very excited to be here. I knew you're going to love it. That was a surprise <laughs> for you today. <laughs> are you excited for this match? Yes, Please. I'm very, very excited. And I'm going to take the time to, to clear something out with the players. You know, guys. In the 10th inning, you're going to go one by one. So you're going to play two players at a time. We're going to start with Max and with Stefano, then with Oliver and Jalal. But in the 10th inning, you're going to play one by one. We're going to start with a player with the least amount of points. And then we're going to finish with a player with the most points, okay? Okay. So we're starting with Maximilian and Stefano. Good luck to all players. Thank and you. Good luck. Have an amazing show. Good luck, everybody. Yeah. Can we start? Yes, you're up, Max and Stefano. So let's see. I think this is a very tough group. Yeah, definitely. I think it's going to be so exciting match. We might see a really close score in the end. Good break by Max. He made two balls on the break. He decides to take ball in hand. So he's playing for 10 points in this first inning. Now I understand what did you mean, Luis, saying that uh, Stefano has similar break to mine. Like you mean the soft break he's using. So maybe it's, well, this time it was a little stronger. But I think when I saw his match in the first round, I, I thought it was very similar to yours, like a symmetrical soft break. <laughs> right. I think Stefan has a chance to go for 15 points. Um, the two ball is a bit tricky because he uh, he can't play it on the top corner pocket. He might need to play the combination or just take ball in hand and go for secure 10 points. Yeah, based Beautiful on his history, I think in ball in hand. Yes. So far, he's been very consistent in ensuring the 10 points. Yeah, it's just the beginning of the match, so you don't really need to risk. The score doesn't force you doing it. So Max looks in control. Maybe the toughest challenge right now is to get off the cushion when he makes the nine. Yeah, 
Yeah, that looks like. That was a really confident stroke. And Max is going for 10 points. Poke it in this last temple. Good run out by Max. And now all eyes are on Stefano's table. He had a phenomenal performance so far in one full tournament. He had so many great finishes. You mean who? Stefano. Yeah. He's played great. I mean, he plays a, a, a Italian format, online format, and he, he's beat a lot of top players. He, I, I commented at the final where he got the, the spot in the qualification. He played great. And so far, he's been playing great. And he had a very tough group in the first round. Right. No, seriously, he is playing so amazing. I remember I played the final against him. Um, I think it was um, one sports TV challenge. It was 10 ball and 9 ball format. And he was playing so good against me. Yeah, another thing that I love about him, and when you want to see it, guys, at the end of the match, when you interview him, he talks very proud about his game, his country. I love that. Yeah, we should be proud. Uh, it's a good run out by Stefano. Uh, 10 points for him. And we're up with Jalal and Oliver. So Stefano and Max started to put the heat on the other players. 15 and 10 points. Let's see the breaks. So you all made two balls, the wind balls in the side. I believe dry break from Oliver. Yeah, looks like a dry break from Oliver here. So So the allow two ball in hand, he's going for ten points. So maybe he's on the wrong side of the three. Do you think he's going to play it on the side or the corner? I'm not sure. Is it the four ball going to the side? If it's a four ball, probably it makes sense to play the three in the corner. I think Try the four back a little bit. The top. That was a good shot by John. Beautiful shot.
So maybe he's watching to see if the nine goes on the bottom of the corner pocket, guys, to see if he gets a tension line on the eight and make the nine in the same pocket or not. Let's see. Yeah, if not, I think he can play the nine ball in the left side corner. And I mean, like, side pocket. Sorry. Really like his table setup. It looks great, by the way. So professional. Has some trophies in there. <clears throat> yes, it's new. That's a part of his house. And because of COVID, he took the time of building it from scratch a couple of months ago. And it's, it's, re it's really amazing. Actually, on the right side of the, of the image, it's his house. So his bedroom and etc. So it's amazing. It looks, it looks beautiful. And another 10 points by Jalal. Beautiful rack. And, and after the first inning, we have Maximilian with 10 points, Stefano with 10 points, and Jalal with 10 points. So all three players are tied. And Oliver has zero points because of the dry break he had. And we are ready to start second break with Maximilian and Stefano. So maybe in your room, Margaret, you can put that setting, especially the part with the pictures. Oh, especially yeah. Pictures. I love that part of the, of the allowed I setup. Like the, I like the idea, actually, to print out the most memorable things from your career. Some nice pictures, um, photos from the trophies and presentations. This could be nice. Okay, so Max made three balls, I believe. Yes, the three were in. Good break. He, he didn't make one. he didn't make those like standard balls on the side, but he made another four rail, and in the end, it was really successful break. Yeah, so dry break from Stefano, and as you said, I think Max can go for fifteen. I think so. He's checking the path of the cue ball to get to the four. I think he's okay. He would love to get a little bit straighter on the four ball, but I think he's still fine. He can draw it back using the side rail and get a position of six. Yeah, so if he bounces off the right rail, he gets a shot on the, on the five. Whoa. Wow, look at that it. shot. It was amazing, but I think he's hooked. No, no, he's playing the six ball. He has a six on the on the right side of the table. I think you can see it. So that so that's the seven. I thought that was the five. Yeah, that's a seven actually. I think he's playing with our myth balls okay. and the seven is light brown color. Now he's playing okay. the six ball. Whoa. He wanted to create more angle and undercut it. So it's first point for Max in his second inning. And we are up with Jalal and Oliver. Well, this is a great opportunity for Jalal because Max wasn't able to run out and Stefano had a dry break. And also Oliver had a dry break in the first inning. So for him to take the lead or have a bigger lead, this inning is key. Sure. And also it's a great chance for Oliver to get closer to the guys because he still has zero points and he needs to get closer to continue this competitive race. Thank you. 
Miguel Almeida ball in the break. I think he's gonna take ball in hand option. I'm not sure if the one actually goes. I don't think so. I think it's complicated. <clears throat> Oliver made two balls. So the last going for 10 points. Let's see Oliver. I think he has a shot on the two, right? Or on the one, Oliver. I think he has a shot on the one. The one is hanging in the po in the corner pocket. Yeah, right. It's a one ball. <clears throat> so yeah, Oliver is going for 15 points, playing from the position. Let's see how he will figure out this pattern on the table. It would be great for Oliver to get 15. Yeah, I think it would be amazing for him to get back in the race and put some hit on the opponents. Both players in control. Yeah, pretty confident so far. He makes yes, it look so <laughs> Yes, I think since he had that pool room built, he's trained a lot, probably more than he in all of his life, and he's very, very confident. Right. It looks like he improved a lot the last year. And Oliver scores 15 points. Great run out by him. So, 10 points, 10 points for Jalal. And after a second inning, we have Jalal leading with 20 points. And we have Maximilian with 15. Oliver with 15 points. And Stefano with 10 points. And we are ready to start the third break with Max and Stefano. So as we said on the start, Margaret is going to be very close. The group is very tough. It looks like, yeah. And it's really hard to predict the winner in the beginning. You know, it's all about the last moments of the match, I guess. Good cue ball control by Max. He made one ball on the break. His two ball goes for rail, which is a saver sometimes. When you break in 10 ball. And I believe he has a shot on the one. And he can go for 15 points here. Looks like Stefano as well. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, Margaret, we have 100% wooden shafts in this match. No carbon fiber. <laughs> yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, it's so difficult to play with wooden shafts as soon as you get used to carbon. Like, of I course, it's it's about personal preferences. I, I had a situation a couple of months ago when I need to change tip on my carbon fiber shafts 
and I played a couple of days with my Maths X Pro Shaft. Okay. And it was so difficult for me, even though it's it's still low deflection shaft, but you know, you can feel it, especially on the draw shots, powerful follow yeah. shots. It's just like you miss the stiffness and power of the carbon shaft. Once you get used to it, it's really tough to get back. Yes, I have both, and I, it happens the same to me, especially for the draw. When I draw yeah. with carbon fiber, it's so easy and so aligned and so It's stiff. effortless, right? Yes. Absolutely yes. effortless. Especially with long shots. I mean, with carbon fiber, mm -hmm. I'm able to draw the full length of the table, like half a diamond perfectly, like, like a remote control. But with wood, I go long, I go short. Same time, I, I don't put enough, I don't mean, it's tougher, I think. Right, but yeah, it's all about practice. You know, when you're practicing with wooden shaft, you put some hours in work and you're going to be good controlled in cue ball. When was the last time you played an international tournament with a wooden shaft, Margaret? Oh, let me think. I think it was maybe 2018. Okay. Yeah, I think before I got my Ignite shaft. I was about to say that it was last year, but then I was like, okay, it's the end of 2020 already. I can't, <laughs> I can't even like understand how fast this year went by. It's like, it's just, we were in February and now like we are in December already. Like how in the world it's happening? Well, it was a beautiful shot by Mark so far. While we were talking, he made yes. a play out on the six and beautiful position on the seven. And both players are playing for 15 points. It's going to be a really close fight. Good turn out by Maximilian for 15 points. Really impressive start by him. Where do you think Stefan is going to play the nine? I think he's going to draw it back using the side rail. Or he might just follow it. You know, it depends like how confident he feels about his stroke at the moment. Yeah, that was a good decision, though. Nice shot by Stefano. So while Stefano gets the 15, I'm going to say hi to Carlos Sanchez, Clau Miranda, Carlos Navarro, and Christian Arias. How are you guys? And another 15 points here. What an amazing start so far we have. Great performance by both players and we are back with Jalan and Oliver. So Luis, tell me when we are going to see you performing on One Sports TV? That's a, that's a great question. The only thing that I need to fix is have a, a strong internet because I have a table of my coach who's very close to mm -hmm. my home. It's a Brunswick with all the traditions, new and 
etc. But I need a strong internet because I tried, and it doesn't hold hold up. So once I fix that, I have the table and everything. And I want to be able to play. It looks like a dry break by Oliver. Unfortunate start for him here and zero points. Angelo made a successful break so far. The bullet hand and is playing for 10 points. Yeah, very excited to see you performing on one sports team. That's yes, gonna be interesting. Definitely gonna do it. The most famous yes, can... theater <laughs> of one pool is gonna be playing by himself. It's gonna be a show. Yes. It's gonna be great, but I think I'm not gonna do I don't have your ability of playing and commentating. When that happens, I'm only, I'm only gonna play because I think yeah. I need to focus. <laughs> of course. It, it's it's really hard sometimes. And like we can feel this drive and energy which you bring in the commentary booth and like how much of your heart you give to us and we really appreciate it that's why everybody loves you thank you so much yes i think if i comment and play i give my same same emotion and heart playing and commentating i'm gonna be drained so i need to choose one or the other <laughs> right When I'm playing, I prefer, like, if I'm playing morning session, I can do commentary in the evening session. Like, it doesn't hurt me. But I can't do commentary before my match, that's for sure. And going to the gym, can you go to the gym the same day you have a match? Yeah, sure, absolutely. I got used to it. Uh, doesn't bother me at all. Like... Uh, when I won the one pool women event, I was actually going to the gym right before my matches. And I felt amazing. It's just like this time I have quite early morning sessions. So in order to get a little bit more sleep, I prefer to switch times. So I'm okay. playing the match and then go to the gym. Uh, it was 10 points for Jalal. And after the third inning, we have Max leading with 30 points, followed by Stefana with 25 points, and then Jalal with 30 points, and Oliver has 15 points. And we are ready to start inning number four with Max and Stefano. So we have Max and Jalal tied in the lead of the group, guys, with 30 points. Right. Good break by Max. Made four balls, actually. Look at that. Oh, no, actually five. Yes, but he doesn't have a shot on the three. Yeah, he should take ball in hand, but it was an amazing break. Successful break by Stefano as well. Do you think he's going to go for 15 or not, Stefano? I'm not sure if he can see the one. I think uh, he's hooked with a four ball. Yeah, he decides okay. to go for 10 points. So both players are playing with ball in hand so far. Yes, Hassan, uh, that's true. Uh, Yalal lives in Jordan, but he plays for Venezuela, and actually he was born in Venezuela. So yes, but he lives in Jordan, and his house there with, with his pool room is in Jordan. So yes. His pool room looks beautiful.
Good shot by Stefano. Nice run out by Max. He's scoring 10 points in this fourth inning. Let's see Stefano's reply on it. Yeah, I actually talked to Jalal because, you know, he's our champion, not only Venezuela, but Latin American champion. I, I talked yeah. to him about going to train with him a couple of weeks mm -hmm. when COVID is over or when I can travel. And the first thing I want to do is take a picture of me and put it there on the <laughs> left side. <laughs> <laughs> do you think I'm he will like, hi, Jalal, how are you? <laughs> Your pretty oh, face will I'm be on the wall in his house. <laughs> With a, with a sticker. I'm going to go like, hey, how are you? This is my house. Jalal, give me a minute. I put yeah. my picture there with a sticker. <laughs> okay, now we can we can eat, we can train. Sounds like a plan, Luis. Yeah, I have that picture and everything. I can't wait for all those travel restrictions to be over. So to start traveling again. Seeing favorite places, favorite people. It's going to be amazing. Yes, yes, it will. Yeah, it's like we don't appreciate it enough when we have it. But as soon as we lose it, we start understanding what we actually had. Yeah, the good thing is that I think the once the tournament in some level or during the 2021 i think uh, the roster is going to be full i mean the tournaments are going to be full because the players are going to be desperate to compete <laughs> so i think that's gonna be, that's going to be great because you're going to have 128 tournaments yeah. draw 10 points for stefano and we are up with jala and oliver Yeah, we will see how it goes. I think everybody is super exciting for like tournaments to start again. And it's going to be great. Is it another dry break by Oliver? Looks like yes. second in a row already. He's struggling so much with the break today. I don't know if Gerald can go for 15. I, I think he has, he has a look at the one, but a position on the two, I don't know if it goes on the side, the one to get to the two. What do you think? Yeah, I think he has the wrong angle on the one, so he... Like he could make position on the two, like placing the cue ball somewhere in the middle of the table. But this way he's going to have a complicated two ball and tricky position on the three. So we'll see. He might just choose ball and hand option. He has a pretty confident lead. We'll see if he decides to take a risk or not. Yeah, I think that's smart. <clears throat> and Margaret, while we're waiting for the the position of the cubo from Yalal, when mm -hmm. are you gonna stop winning national championships? <laughs> we have a good question. <laughs> <laughs> so never. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know you're waiting for that, but yeah. And the fact is that I'm not, I'm not like playing really good the last few national championships. It's just, um, I think the mentality. I don't really like to lose. And I know that it's not so important <laughs> for me winning those national championships, but 
you know, I treat every tournament as it's a world championship. It doesn't matter if it's a small event or a big event. Like, I'm doing the same routine every time, same pre-shot preparation, and it's a good practice anyway. I love competing. I love playing the events. So why not just bring your best and try to win as much as you can? So when you're playing the national championship, what you're telling me is that you play with your angry face multiplied by two. As always. <laughs> <laughs> your favorite one. Yeah, I love that face. It's very funny because actually you're so nice. You're always smiling, happy. Mm -hmm. I mean, so cute. But when you're playing, you're like, we're like, oh my God, she, she's going to kill us. <laughs> Yes, yeah. you can kill us anytime, only by looking at us. So look yeah. away, guys, look away. <laughs> Stay away from me. <laughs> yeah, like like when you see a bear, the, the people tell you, if you have a, if you see a bear, don't look at him because he's going to attack you. <laughs> Just like that. Like we're like, don't look at Margaret, don't look at her. <laughs> oh, come on. It, it can't be that bad. <laughs> <laughs> No, seriously, I remember some girls were saying me that, like, before we got to know you better, we thought that you're so angry, like, it's just not friendly at all, don't want to talk with anyone, but then, like, outside of the pool table, you're actually so nice and friendly, it's just the way that you're focused on the goal, and that's it. And, you know, I think there are, like, two types of players. Uh, for example, before the match, some players really like to chat like laughing talking around with other players making fun jokes and stuff and some players really need to keep quiet and focused before the match and i'm one of those players i really don't like talking to people before my match okay. because i just lose in focus this way but as soon as the match is over i'm back to friendly nice mode <laughs> like a switch so yeah. 10 points for <laughs> um, we are done with fourth innings of this match and we have Max leading with 40 points actually he's tied with Jalal who has 40 points as well and next goes Stefano with 35 and Oliver with 15 points and we are up with Max and Stefano Good break by Maximilian. And I think he has a position on the two ball. He can play, but the fact is that it will be really uncomfortable to place the bridge because of the four ball. So he might need to elevate the cue a little bit and play from the ball. And it could be a little no. bit complicated to get the position on the next one. So let's see. He decides to take a No, he actually played from the position. Yes, I'm very surprised because Stefano usually is very conservative in terms of taking ball in hand, but probably because he's a little behind on Max and Jalal, he wants to go for it. So yeah. let's see. Yeah, he wants to be sure he secures himself a lead for the next one. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. Scratch. 
So it's three points from Maximilian. There's two ball with oh. the fall doesn't count. So now a big opportunity for Stefano. Yeah. Threat, so. yeah, he really needs it now. And he has a tricky three ball. Don't think it it goes to the top corner pocket. I believe he he's playing it in the side. Good shot by Stefano. Beautiful shot. Really good speed control here by Stefano. I believe he can just use a stop shot here, get the position on the nine, or maybe draw back a little bit. He has a little bit of angle, so he takes time to think about it. It's not an easy shot on the pen. Yeah, it doesn't look easy at all. Important shot so far. Wow. Yeah, that wasn't easy at all. So nine points for Stefano. This 10 ball cost him six points. Yes. And we are back with Jella and Oliver. Let's see if the Oliver's break gonna work this time. He really needs it right now. Yeah. He needs to get <clears throat> close so to because... the four. Yeah, he has such a beautiful game. Jella is very consistent. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, it looks good I, for I Oliver. What were you saying, Luis? That I think that Jalal is very, very consistent on the break, making the two win balls on the side, but he hasn't been able to control the one and getting a shot on the one. That's why he's, he has played so many 10 point racks. Right. But the thing is that in this format, if you score consistently 10 points, like you will get qualified. Yes. Like in the um, end, you, you're going to have. Like average 10, like 
in total you can have 90 or 100 it depends how many regs did you run out but so far he's so consistent he made four out of four with 10 points breaks oh look at the one ball by oliver it nearly went in So guys, previously to the to the start of the match, I talked to Margaret about her her hairstyle, and I asked her if she wanted to have a hairstyle like Oliver, you know, mm -hmm. that she's blonde with long hair, she can make the braids go to the back. So guys, if you think that's a good idea, you can write on Facebook because I think I have her fifty percent convinced to do it. Well, I hope, guys, you don't really support his crazy ideas. <laughs> <laughs> Please, don't, don't, don't put me on a tough spot. I think that hairstyle with the braids, it would go perfectly with your kill, killer mode fade. Oh, you think so? Yes, I think it's going to be even scarier. That way you can get to 50 national championships. Well... If that would help me, I don't mind. <laughs> See, guys, I have her at 60% convinced. <laughs> Come on. Beautiful run out by Jalal. He took ball in hand, so it's 10 points. And... Oliver is going for 15 points. He didn't take ball in hand. Yeah, it would be great to see Oliver getting the 15. He's had a tough, tough luck with the dry breaks. Yeah, definitely. Please, I have a special mission for you. I think it's your yes. specialization. I love it. You need to come up with a good nickname for me. So I actually like it. You don't have because I don't, I, I don't have, have one so far. I th what? I think it's it could be it could, yeah it could be nice if you come up with one. I'm gonna give you ten. So okay. from here to Sunday, so, I'm gonna so. give you ten nicknames. <laughs> to the right one. I I like it. Then I can choose actually. <laughs> yes, I mean you're so famous that if you like one and say it like two times on your social media, it's gonna trend and that's gonna be it. So. You don't have to worry if people like it or not. <laughs> but here's the thing, like with a nickname, it's not actually the players who choose it. It just happens automatically, usually. You know? Yes, I think. Someone I said think it. If I'm then... tournament, I think I can make it happen. I think I can give you options that you're going to like and people are going to like. <laughs> I'm all excited. Bring it on, Luis. I'm ready for that. <laughs> Some of them are going to be nice. Other ones are going to be like tough. So I'm going to go 50-50. Oh. Okay. I like it. And meanwhile, <laughs> uh, Oliver made a nice run out without ball in hand for 15 points. And after the first half of the match is done, we have... Jalal leading with 50 points, then Maximilian with 43, then Stefano with 44, and Oliver with 30 points. And we are ready to start the second half of the match with yeah. Maximilian and Stefano. Rec number six. Successful break for Maximilian, but I believe Stefano, he you can, to take ball in hand. You can break. Mm. 
do you think Max is going to take ball in hand or not? Yeah, I'm thinking about it. You know, um, he has pretty natural path from one to the two, avoiding the four, going above it, like between nine and four. So top rail, left side rail, but it's it's tough to control the speed, cutting the one ball so thin. I'm not sure if he goes for it. We'll see. No, he takes ball in hand option. The same as so Stefan. Beautiful shots for both from the one to the two. Stephanie needs to be very careful with this combination to be sure that he's able to control the two ball after he makes a six and he made it beautifully. I don't see any obvious troubles on the table so far from four both players. The only Problem could be this four ball for Max because it doesn't go to the top right corner pocket, top left, sorry. And he might need to play the combination. I don't know, maybe Max wanted to be a little straighter on the four to make, to have an yeah, easier table. I think so. He would prefer to leave himself a little bit straighter angle on this one. Beautiful shot by Max. Whoa. Really tough combination. <laughs> Good kill Not only the combination, but the control the speed. Yes, the speed was so right. tough to control. Good run out by Stefano for 10 points. And all eyes are on Max. And Margaret, I have a very special question for you. Are you ready? Oh. Uh, I'm not sure, but bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your favorite? female scotch doubles partner so if you're going to play a uh, world cup mm. of pools scotch doubles who's your that's pick a, that's an easy question kelly whoa one two three, four, six. six points for max he missed the set yeah it was tricky to get the position on the eight from that angle we are back with jalan and oliver for the Lalling Oliver can break. So Kelly Fisher will be your pick. I would say so. Uh, I really like uh, the driving energy she has, and it's very fun to play with her. I know that we could do good. 
we have a good level of communication and yeah, we would have fun for sure, no matter what happens. And it's very important to have a light person playing with in doubles, you know, so, yeah. you know, no matter what, uh, he or she doesn't put pressure on you, will always calm you down if something bad happens. Like, take it easy, don't worry, stay focused. <laughs> So I think dry break from Oliver. Yeah, and Jalal just crashed. So did he? No. Or I he didn't know. Ah, okay. So the, that was a one ball actually. I wasn't sure I don't know if he can. Yeah. I don't know if he can get from the one to the two, or is it better to take ball in hand? He actually has an angle on the right side of the two ball, so he could risk and go for it, but the fact that he's leading with 50 points doesn't really force him to take ball in hand. I mean, to play from the position and risk. Yeah, that's better. You're right. That's yeah, I think better. it's smarter. It's like, as we discussed before, Seriously, if he makes 10 points every time, he's going to finish the match with 100 points, which is a guaranteed qualification in the next round. And he has a very consistent break so far, so it shouldn't be a problem for him. Yeah, about what you were talking about, scotch doubles, I agree. You need to play with someone that not only plays great, but it's light. It's like positive. Right. I mean, you're absolutely playing, because when you're playing doubles, you have double pressure. You have the pressure of yeah. winning and the pressure of the of your partner because you don't want to yeah. let your partner yeah. down. So absolutely. And I'm not talking about like you know laughing like crazy and having fun. No, like you can be serious, but still, you just like to uh, talk each other through some mistakes that you make and. Say it's okay, don't worry about it, take it easy. Uh, we'll be back in the next one. I think it's gonna be so hard for Oliver to come back actually into this competitive fight with no three players. Yeah, too many great breaks and yeah. The players are putting more and more pressure on him. So 10 points. Good turn now out by Jello. Cool. And yeah. after the six breaks, we have Jello leading with 60 points, followed by Stefano with 54. Uh, the third is Max with 49 points. And Oliver is fourth with 30 points. And we are ready to start break number seven with Max and Stefan. Successful break by Max so far. Finish. Let's take and ball in hand. What about Stefano? Do you think? He can play from the position or he might take ball in hand option. I think he can, but I think he's on the blind side of the one hand. He's going to take ball, uh, 
ball in hand. I think it's smart to ensure the 10 points. I'm curious if there's three ball goes anywhere. Looks pretty tight with the temple, isn't it? I think I think there are three goals on the top left corner pocket. I don't think it goes on the left side pocket. No, I don't think so. So yeah, it's gonna be a challenge for him to get an angle on the three. So he takes ball in hand and makes sure that he got the right angle on the two, first of all, to be able to solve this problem. So both players playing with ball in hand option. Beautiful shot by Max, but I believe he still doesn't have the right angle he wanted to get. To get on the eight. I think he can go three rails. As you said, Stefan is worried about the three. Right. He has to get perfect angle on the three ball. Oh, Max got this unnecessary kiss on the temple. It's still fine, but it's a bit tricky. Uh, really thin cut on an eight ball. Let's see this position on the three. Is it I'm not sure. If he can play it, it could be actually the perfect position for the cue ball to be there. It was a beautiful cue ball control, by the way. He deserves to be able to see this ball, actually. After yes, this I'm one. hoping that he sees it. Right. And he overcut it. It was too thin cut by Max and seven points for him. So I wanna say hi to Luis Duarte, Pedro Ponce Leon, my coach, and the one and only Francisco Sanchez Reese, the professional player that can eat up to 20 pancakes, guys. Oh my god, that's a superpower he has here. <laughs> um did you see this unfortunate miss by Stefano? Yeah. He opened up the three and ten. Good position. So it's four points for him. It's very tough shot. Very tough. It was. And we are back with Jalal and Oliver. He made a great effort, Stefano, but it was a very tough shot. Right. <laughs> And you know the pressure is on closer to the end of the match and we have really tight score between Jalal, Stefan and Max. So it's really hard to predict the winner and of course all of the players want to do their best and score as much as they could to be sure that they take a lead and get closer to this qualification stage. 
Do you think Jalal can make that one on the side and get the I think he might have played. I'm not sure. The three ball well, looks like... Play. Yeah, the three ball looks like it's covering half of the side pocket. But... Yeah, it looks like you can see it. He can play it. Just cheat in the pocket a little bit on the left side. Also depends on, on the table, you know, the shape of the pocket, how it plays. So he needs to get a good angle on the two ball. What about Oliver? Is he playing for 10 or 15 points, Lewis? 15. He's playing yes, for 15. Sir. Okay. And also Jalal. So, guys, the players are going for 15. The pressure is on. That's getting more and more excited. I think Oliver got the wrong angle on the three ball. He's obviously not happy about that. Now he has to find a way to get on the four ball, maybe using top rail and come back the cue ball on the side of the table. To play okay. four on the bottom right corner. Maybe he can just draw it back. Oh. It looks good. I thought he had a bigger angle, to be honest. It was a good solution. Yeah, it's perfect. Oliver is playing pretty consistent so far. He just got four dry breaks, but every time he gets to the table, he scores 15 points. It's unbelievable if you think about it. Yeah, I know. In the, in the previous round, he was very, very tough. I mean, as you said, if he makes a ball and has some, some top type of shot on the one, yeah. he runs out. He's very consistent on handling, handling himself on the table. Right. Of course, like he has quite lower score compared to other players right now. He is only on 30 points, but he made two run out for 15 so far. And he is going for the third one right now. That's a good result. Beautiful run out by Jalal, and he scores 15 points and take a really consistent lead of 75 points total. You know what player would be proud of Oliver right now in terms of positional play? of the shots that he, he took. Tell me. Alex Montpellier, he loves a long shot. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's a good point. And meanwhile, we finished the rec number seven, and we have Jalal leading with 75 points, followed by Stefano with 58. Then the third is Max with 56. And Oliver with 45 points. And we are ready to start rec number eight with Max and Stefano. Beautiful break by Max. Four balls down. Doesn't have a shot in one. I don't think he will risk and go for a bank in this situation. But we will see. You know, the closer we get to the end, like the more pressure players are feeling. 
and he might want to risk. Be sure that he's taken a lead over Stefan. That was a really soft break by Stefano here. It was consistent so far. So now do you think that break is like yours or not? No, no, no. I'm obviously breaking harder than that. The thing is that I don't know, I have this mentality, it's pretty hard to beat it, but like I have to, you know, smash the wreck as hard as I can. It's just like the way I was taught in the beginning and now I'm trying to, I'm trying to change that because hard is not always resultative and it's more important to make a ball and have a good cue ball control. Wow, look at this amazing shot by Max. He made a bank and good position in the two ball because he knew that he has to score 15 points in order to uh, get back in the fight. So Max is playing for 15 points. And what about Stefano? I was actually going to ask you if he took ball in hand or not. Okay. Yeah, he did. So, so he's time. playing for 10 points. You can feel the pressure, right, Margaret? Right now, right. the players. Yeah, sure. The closer to the end we get, the more pressure they feel. And even I do feel something. And, you know, try to stay quiet <laughs> just in case players could hear our commentary to not distract them from the mission. Look at the cue ball. No, I think he's fine. A little bit tricky tempo though, but he's okay. needed it so much. Nine points for Max in this eighth inning and Stefan is going for 10 points. Run out for Stefano, and we are up with Jala and Oliver. Oliver, you can break. It's getting more and more interesting towards the end of the match. What do you think, Luis? Yeah, I think it was a tough luck for Max. Missing yeah. Cost him six points that he needed. So I think we're going to have a lot of pressure on Stefan in terms of possible dry breaks at the end of the match. Yeah. And we'll see how well he could handle that. Because, yeah, 
you know, when you're using the soft brake, it's pretty easy to lose it in very deciding points towards the end of the match. So he has to be very careful with it. Right, but look at the four and the nine in, in Oliver's yeah. table. I think they're frozen. It looks like, I think the only possible pocket to play the four ball is actually top left corner pocket, but the six ball is there, so I'm not sure. So Jalal is going for 10 points, and I think Oliver needs to plan a roadmap to break the nine and the four. Is it the four? I think it's a two ball actually, nine and the two. Oh, the yes. Four ball, you're yeah, right. the four yeah. ball is on the top right corner pocket. Yes, you're right. Yeah, so he actually has to create an angle to be able to play this two ball. Jalal is super consistent this round. He's going for another 10 points. And he never had one dry break during the whole match. Perfect. Yeah, and he didn't take ball in hand, did he? No. Jala is playing for 10 points, but he's playing for 15. Seriously, as we mentioned before, Luis, every time Oliver gets to the table, he's playing for 15 points. It's amazing. He looks fearless, absolutely. Tough positions don't scare him at all. He's solving everything. Like the only problem he has yeah. in this match is try breaks, and that's it. His cue ball control is is amazing. Yes, he plays great. Ten points for Jalal, and he's taking the lead with eighty-five points overall. What a great performance so far! Yeah, he can go above one hundred. Yeah, it looks like. I want to remind you guys that the maximum high score we have in the tournament was made. Two days ago by Carla Beado, which is 127. That's and I think that's, that's a record. Insane for if you think about it. Yes, I think yeah, and I think, I think so. it's a record performer. Like if you think about it, it's like 12.7 average in every rep. That's an amazing <laughs> result. Yes. I actually was scared because I didn't watch that match because it was too early here in my country. But when I woke up, I saw it. And when I saw the score, I was like, oh, my God. Yesterday with Alberto, I promised to the fans that if someone got to 150, mm -hmm. I would record a video of me playing, dancing in my swimsuit. And I was like, oh, my, oh God, my God, what is wrong with Carlo? <laughs> what is wrong with him? <laughs> I'm not sure that our spectators are ready to watch this, Luis. <laughs> no one is ready. I'm not ready. That's why I didn't want him to make 100. <laughs> and 
and Oliver is going for 15 points. Great performance so far. And after the eighth inning, we have a leader, Jalal, with 85 points. Second place is Stefano with 68. Third is Maximilian with 65. And fourth is Oliver with 60 points. And we are ready to start break number nine. Maximilian and Stefano are up. So this, this is going to be like a horror movie in terms okay. of who gets the, the second spot. Yeah. Max and Stefano have really close fight for this qualification spot. Let's see the break of both players. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Four rail saver for Max. And, and he has a shot on the one. He has. And he has to take it. This soft break by Stefano works good so far, doesn't it? Yes, it works, but I think he needs to take ball in the hand. So I think we're going to see a step yeah. on a for 10 and max for 50. I believe so. So a, play, uh, a fan on Facebook, Margaret, is asking the difference between carbon fiber and wood because he, he comes from snooker and now he plays mm -hmm. pool. But in snooker, yeah. you don't have carbon fiber, so... I think, uh, first of all, the difference is in deflection, right? Like everybody knows that, but um, if you think how much extra power the carbon fiber shaft could give you, like this accuracy, as soon as you get to understand your shaft, you put some hours practicing with it, um, it will be so much easier to control the cue ball, especially on the long shots. Um, on the long follow, long draw shot, um, it will be easier to fill the shot for you. But as I said before, I think it's all about personal preferences. There are still so many great players who play with wooden shaft and there is nothing wrong with that. It's just different tastes and that's it. Uh, if you play pool, I would recommend you to try play a couple of weeks, couple of months, practice with carbon fiber shaft. And if you feel that you can perform better with it, it's way to go. Good shot by Stefano. Nice cue ball control, he got a little bit too far, but he can it's okay. He can use top rail and get the position for just similar shot as he just played on the two ball. And Max looking pretty confident so far, going for 15 points. Yeah, nice shot by Stefano. And what do you think, Luis? How did you experience this switch from wooden shaft to carbon fiber? Well, for me, it was a little bit difficult because I think carbon fiber maximizes everything you do. So you have a good stroke, it gets better, but you have a bad stroke, it gets worse. Right. So, I to, I, so I think Max made 15, so great yeah. for him. Yeah, he really so needed that. A, yeah, he needed it. So uh, I needed to work a lot of my stroke to make sure that carbon fiber maximizes the good things about me, not the bad stuff. But yeah. after I, I got a line, let's say, call it like that, I got, I got a line. I loved it because especially for the draws, the long, long draws mm -hmm. of the cue ball is great. So I got used to it. I know nice. that you play with 12... I 12.2 or 12.4, but I play with 12.9. I like okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm I'm used to. I always play with wood, like 12.75 or 13. So I play mm -hmm. with 
but uh, I love it. it Everything is easier and when you play with carbon fiber you must work on your stroke because if you don't have a good stroke it's gonna get worse so it's from every angle I think it's better good shot here by Stefano but yeah absolutely I agree with you like in the end of the day it's all about how many hours of practice you put in to actually work on your game on your stroke hard work pays off all the time we all know that sooner or later it will bring you benefits yeah, and, and I mean, in pool and billiards has evolved a lot, so you need to take advantage of that technology. I mean, it's Absolutely. not the same to play with any cue. You need to play with a cue and a shaft that works for you and practice with it. Yeah, I absolutely agree with you. Nice run out here by Stefano for 10 points. And we are up with Jalal and Oliver for the break number nine. Oh, it's getting more and more exciting. Even I feel a little pressure just sitting in the commentary booth. Yes. Looking I at the scoreboard and it's like, oh wow, that's so close. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Any dry break can change the result of the match at Absolutely. this point. Jala is so consistent with the break. It's amazing. I don't think it actually needs to risk now. Look at the score. Um he can take bone hand, secure ten points. And he actually has a good shot on the one and a positive angle to get in the two. Play it on the top right corner. Yeah, I think it would be smart for him to ensure the 10 points. In the other hand, Oliver, I think he needs to play the, the two, right? But he doesn't have a shot. Yeah, I think he couldn't see it. So Jalal is playing for 15 points. And Oliver takes ball in hand, of course, because he didn't have a shot on the two and going for 10 points. It's gonna be so hard for him to get closer to other guys in the score. But He's still able to show his best performance. As I said, the only mistake he made was uh, four dry breaks, and that's it. Uh, he plays great. Look at the three ball by Oliver. It's going to be a little challenge. He missed it. Yeah, it wasn't easy. So three points for Oliver. I think he has really little chance. And it's actually four points for him, right? 
think so. Yeah. I think so. Six balls left, so it's four points. And yeah, 15 points for Jalal. Oh, yeah. Right. Jalal took ball in hand. So it's 10 points for him. And we have the last inning. A deciding one. And we're going to start with a player with minimum amount of points. So Oliver goes first. Followed by Stefano. Then we will have Max. And then Jalal will be the last one breaking. All players go one by one in the last inning of this match. And it looks like a dry break for Oliver. Yeah, it's dry break. With zero points, and unfortunately, I don't think he has a chance to get qualified already. It's pretty obvious. So we're going to have Max break in second. Max, you can break. It's not my turn. Oh, no. Is it? Let's check, Matt. Sorry. No, it's uh, Stefano's turn. Yeah. 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 Sorry. It's Stefano going. He has less Stefano. points. Yeah. Okay. Right. Stefano has 78. So he goes second. Right. Stop praying by Stephanie it gives me heart attack every time I'm seeing it to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> me too, me <laughs> because too, too. I understand that like if he doesn't make those balls in the side, like nothing will go in. Like there is no chance, you know, like to flip the ball or like anything else goes, like four rail, two ball. Like they're so hard to make anything else. But look at that break. That was pretty consistent so far. Two balls on the side. Do you think that one goes on the bottom left corner pocket or not? I think it might go. Beautiful shot by Stefano. He's really in this fighting spirit right now. Even Luis kept quiet, which is not so typical. Yeah. <laughs> I'm stressed. Guys, I'm standing up with my laptop on one hand, my phone on the other hand, and like, I don't know, hoping for the best. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you cheering for, Luis? No, all the players. I mean, when, when a player's playing like Stefano, I feel like I'm his brother or him or whatever. I'm like, okay, <laughs> I, I, I want you to succeed. And with every player, it's the same. So that's why I'm, I, I stress yeah 
you have a big heart, that's for sure. Yeah. So. And I, I, I've seen his his evolution. I mean, Stefano, when he I saw him probably in February playing this Italian online format, he was a good player, but now he's a great player. So uh, his evolution has been amazing. So I feel very proud of him. Yeah, me too. I remember him like middle of March, April. He used to play those virtual events. He was good so far, but... Looks like he really put some hours in practice and he improved. I'm really happy to see that. It's always yes. nice when Thank players you. use this amount of time they have to actually improve and work on the game. Perfect. Perfect cubo control here, right? Yeah. Imagine he can get like the opposite angle on the seven. It, it might get a little tricky, but he's perfectly straight, I believe. He just has to draw it back about 10 centimeters back and he will be fine. And I have a question for you, Margaret. Do you have? Do you also have a T-shirt like like Stefano's with the the flag of your country and it says One Sports TV? Actually, not. That's a good okay. question to ask One Sports TV. <laughs> <laughs> like, who do I address this question to? No, I I know. Like, I, if you had one, I would like, be angry. You know, like, I don't have yeah, one. I, I won the event. I actually like. I'm supposed to be angry because I still I still didn't get mine. Yeah, oh my God, so, so funny. You just put one sports TV in a very tough spot. They have to ship it to yeah. me. No, I, 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 okay. You're the so, reigning champion. You don't have one, so. It meanwhile, looks so cool. Stefan has just made 15 points and now all pressure is on Max. Let's see his break. Beautiful break by Max. He needs a shot. Come on.
beautiful shot. Beautiful shot. Yeah, it was a really good cue control by Max. And yeah, we can't not notice how important this wreck is for him. And he has to score 15 points in this one in order to have a chance to qualify and beat Stefano's 93 score. Uh oh, he's too <clears throat> close to the rail. He overspeed it. Too much power. Right. Do you think you can slow roll it to the side? Because obviously no. playing to the or corner even slow, would be so slow roll it the covers. Yeah. I think he's going to play yeah. in the top left corner pocket. Yeah, I believe so. Then he's going to be close with the cue ball on the rail. But if he gets on the right side of the eight, when he makes the eight, he gets position on the 10. So I think he's going to focus on making the seven. That's it. Does it go? Oh. It was a really tough shot here for Max. And seven points for him. And I think no matter what happens now, with Jamal's break, we already have two players who qualify the next round. Right, Luis? Yes. I think it's going to be Jalal and Stefan. But we're still going to see the last break of Jalal anyway. He's the leader of this match, breaking and playing so consistently. So far, he had eight beautiful runouts for 10 points and one for 15. And he's playing for 15 points now.
beautiful shot by Jalal. Beautiful. Here we go. The last shot of a champion of this match for 15 points. What a great performance we just saw, Luis. What yes. do you think about this match? Well, it was amazing. I mean, I feel for Max because it was so close. Very tough shot on the seven, but I'm very happy with Stefano because, as I said, I, I, I've seen his his evolution during the 2020. For sure, I'm rooting for Jalal because he's from my country. And Oliver is an amazing, amazing, amazing player. But um, four or five dry breaks is my... I mean, it's impossible to, to qualify for a match. Yeah, I think so. Congratulations, Jalal and Stefano. Thank you, Margaret. You both qualified to the next match. Thank you. Um, what do you think, Stefano? What's your impression about this match? How do you feel now? Uh, the pressure was on? Now, now I feel great, but uh, congratulations to Alal. Very good match. And uh, to Max, too. But very, very difficult fight. Uh, under pressure, very, very difficult. Uh, I think I just fought to my 10. That cost me six points. I was always thinking to that during the, the Max uh, last match. Uh, I, I am really glad. That yeah, was great. It was great, buddy, watching you play. And Max, how do you feel? I mean, you were in the fight. That seven was very, very tough. Yeah, I think I just uh, didn't deserve it today because uh, I missed so many uh, easy shots. With the break of mine today, I should have scored about 130 probably. But uh, if you miss six balls or seven balls, I don't know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you can't make more than 80, I guess. Um, but yeah. uh, of course, congrats to Stefano and Jalal. Uh, you really deserved it and played well. Uh, good luck for the next round. And yeah. I hope to be back uh, in the next tournament. Yeah. We hope, we really hope to see you back. Thank you for participation in the tournament. We hope that you enjoy this format. Thanks to Oliver. Once again, congratulations to Jalal and yes. Stefano, and good luck in the next round. Thank you, Margaret. And thank Thanks. you for the commentary. Thanks you to you. Luis. You're welcome, buddy. Congrats. Thanks. And guys. Guys, stay tuned. We are going to go live in one hour for the next round. Okay, and good job. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. See you soon. You're welcome. Uh, one you're sports welcome. TV. Yeah.